it finally happened. The zombie apocalypse. And all you can do is run. So my zombie impression might be a little rusty, which is good because the zombie apocalypse didn't actually happen, at least yet. What you're seeing is all part of the zombie 5k run put on by the Lifestyle Center and the Outdoors Club. The president of the Outdoors Club, Mackenzie Dillman, explains it all. Instead of, you know, just going out with other runners and trying to, trying to be the fastest people out there, uh, we're kind of putting a Halloween spin on it and making the course infested with zombies. So instead of just trying to be the fastest person out there, the runners are competing against each other. They want to finish first, but they also don't want to uh, become a zombie. All the runners have, uh, have flags that represent their health, and if the zombies get a hold of those flags, the runner changes over, becomes a zombie, and they're out of the race. There is no set course to the event. Runners must reach four checkpoints before they become part of the walking dead. At the beginning of the race, we give them their first checkpoint. Uh, they have to run there, try and be the fastest people there, but try and avoid the zombies as well. When, uh, when they get there, the person will mark their number that they were there, and um, tell them where their next checkpoint is. 19 runners will compete in the event, with the winner getting a zombie survival kit. So, is this run just some seasonal fun, or preparing for the inevitable future? You be the judge. From Oswego, Pete Sosha, WTOP 10 News.